The new technique enables automatically degree of parallelism calculations, and that should guarantee you'll get enough servers to do a good job, but not so many that it will impact on other people. I like the calculations. I'm sure they aren't perfect, but in my opinion, they're better than me trying to do it manually when I don't understand your database. So automatic calculation that works, but then there are two other very nice facilities that we can enable. Caching of full table scans. Doesn't happen by default, but if enabled, it gives Oracle the option of doing a parallel scan into buffer cache, so you can reuse the blocks. It also enables parallel statement queuing. Oracle calculates how many servers it would like, and if you can get that many, great. But maybe it can't get that many because they're busy at the moment. In that case, it will queue the statements until the parallel servers are available. A very nice mechanism for preventing excessive parallelism killing your system. Just put statements on a queue. You know, maybe it would run well with 16 servers, but at the moment there aren't 16 available. OK, queue it for a couple of minutes and some other job will finish. And hey, you can have them now. Very good indeed. So these are the three facilities that you can choose to enable. They're disabled by default. You enable them with these three parameters. You set parallel degree policy to auto. And if you want, you set min time threshold and parallel degree limit. So set that to auto. And if you wish, set parallel degree limits and min time threshold. Right. The min time threshold you set to a value such that if the default, by the way, is 10 seconds, but you set it to a value by default 10 seconds, and if the query would run serially in less than that, Oracle will never parallelize it. Never parallelize it. And then the degree limit defaults CPU. And that means Oracle will constrain the number of parallel servers so the CPU usage will never hit 100%. That's probably what you want. But there are also algorithms based on I.O. or you can hard code a value. So if I enable that facility, I'll do it at the system level. Alter system set parallel degree policy equals auto. I've now enabled three facilities. Right. If I run a query just with no hints at all, Oracle's decided it's not worth, so I've enabled auto, and that's enabled the three capabilities, previous slide, automatic calculation, caching of scans, and queuing. And Oracle's decided, nah, that query would run very fast serially. Very fast serially, so I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to use parallelism. What if the table were huge? Execute dbmsstats.set table stats. What if the table were huge? And I'll have Scott emp, and I'll tell it that the number of rows in the table is in fact one, two, three, four, five, six, a billion rows. And the number of blocks in the table is 100 million blocks. So I've told Oracle the table's huge. Right. And now I'll try running the query. Select some cell from emp. Well, I never. Right. I like this a lot. I really do. So what have I done? Ever so simple. I've set one parameter. And from now on, depending on the size of the table, the CPU availability, Oracle will decide and how long the sorry the size of the table, the available CPU resources, and how long the query might take. Oracle will decide what degree of parallelism to run. So Oracle thinks will take about one minute with 16 servers. And that's why it's decided to do it. 